Welcome back, survivors. I'm the survival of this, and we return to Carnivore Dinosaur Hunt. Where this will probably be the last week of Dinosaur Hunt on the channel for now. I haven't had too many requests come in for like uh, specific hunts for that. I did get one, kind of two, but just one particular that I'll start off with, which is left by uh, Dave Remy, who was looking for a carnivore's crossbow hunt, which is all of the carnivore roster, no herbivores. No radar, just using the crossbow. So I'm going to see if I can do that on the Great Forest. Make this carnivore country. So, no, oh, no. First of all, let's get... Yeah, let's get the Rex. Let's get the Giga. And let's get the Serato... Okay, right. I'm going to need, I think, the Pro License for this. Actually, let me take everything off for now. Just so that way I can try to see how many points I'm working with. I still have... Okay, there's a number of points that I probably have stored away with stuff, but let's switch that and that, 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 that. There we go. Okay, now we should be able to get at least those two for sure. And if we modify, now we should be able to get the Serato. What? That is bizarre. We've got the Pro License, which lets you hunt all the dinosaurs. We could modify... That is super weird. So you can't take any dinosaur on any map? It's like there's no Ceratosaurus option. There's no Triceratops either. What the heck is... That is super weird. Okay, so I guess I'll have to do on Basmachi Rocks for this. Yeah, like, I... I didn't know that was a thing. I thought with the Pro License I would have been able to choose any map, any dinosaur, but it seems like you can't anymore. That is super strange. Um, a... You know what, let's live dangerously. Everything up to max spawn rates, why not? Okay, so the roster is locked in, the weapon is locked in, now, I'm going to take a few extras just to try to help keep me alive through this. Okay, so I can't quite get the movement speed. Or, no, I'll switch out that for that, because I'd rather have the movement speed over the, uh... Or, sorry, I'd rather have the quiet over movement speed. And the rest should be okay there. Player upgrades are fine. Missed upgrades, there's nothing to worry about there. Yeah, so this is going to be Dave Remy's, uh, crossbow carnivore hunt. I was planning for the Great Forest, there's no restriction on what map to use, apparently there is some restriction on certain maps you can't have the full roster, I don't know if it's like a bug that with the last update kind of had an issue or what. We'll go after all that, take the crossbow, see how many we can do or how long we survive in these settings. Well, let's just head out and see how we fare. I do have a bit of a different hunt plan for next episode, I'm thinking... Danger Floof did like seeing the revolver in you, so I was thinking maybe I'll do a revolver exclusive hunt in, like, uh, maybe the Great Forest Fog or Dathaeus Hills at Fog, where we can't use the main weapon, we have to use the revolver. But go after Herbivore, see if we can actually get some one-shot kills with it. Okay, but we're dropped right in, and, oh, is that a Rex or a Giga? Oh, no, Carnotaurus, actually. We might as well make that our first target to go for. Although it looks like it's going to be a little bit weird trying to get the uh, angling right. We'll just try to follow it for a bit and keep our distance. The DLC dinos are going to be the one that are going to be really hard to figure out like... Holy crap. Was not expecting the Giga right out around the corner. But we're going to restart. That's one of the things about this being such a uh, carnivore's dense map. They can be everywhere around us. And without the radar, there's no telling just where they might be sneaking up and in from. Now, I think for if you want to use the revolver to try to get the carnivores down. You need to try aiming for the open mouth as they're rushing in. 
any other shop. Oh, there's something over there. Carnotaurus. Well, it actually looks like it's taking a little squat right now. Okay, that was a hit. Oh, instant down too. Perfect. Oh, there's another one out there. And a Giganotosaurus too. Oh, wow. Okay, the Carnos rush right into kills. Wasn't expecting that. So that's a little bit of unique behavior for them, is that they will rush right in. I uh, don't think I'm going to be able to get a... Yeah, you know what? I think I gotta leave these two to... Oh. Well, if you're going to just squat right there, I'll take the opening. I think right about there. It was down for a moment. It, it really seems like they didn't give them a full animation set. Like, they quickly stand up rather than a slow, gradual rise. Okay, so you're at about 250-ish. Just kind of hoping I can get it where it stops a moment, and then I can see about going for it. But I didn't realize their behavior was that they rush... Okay, no. I gotta remember, don't try aiming for him when he's in that animation, because I don't think he actually has his hitboxes proper. The geek is going back that way. I don't think I have to worry too much about that. I'm at about the 200 mark I need to be on tabs with. Well, it was a hit, but that was way too small of a lead for it. Okay, there's two shots in with the crossbow right now. Okay, there's Carno down. But that might be the Giga tipped off to us. <clears throat> Okay, so about 200. Yeah, it's going to be coming in. Let's try that. It was a hit, but he's... Okay. Still alive. There's a uh, few carnivores taken down. I don't know if we'll lose... I mean, we probably don't have many points for each. 55 for that carno... Uh, the Giga does not want to get registered. There it is. 26 for that. Okay, we're fully loaded again. Almost. Let's get the crossbow prepared. I just want to head out to see this Carnotaurus. Because it got snacked on, I don't think it's going to uh, give us anything. We can at least head out and investigate to see about it. But the DLC animals are the two that I don't know the uh, best spot to aim for. I've heard a lot of things, like go for the eye seems to work sometimes, uh, the nostrils maybe for the Carnotaurus. I do have to admit I am also pretty bad at judging the lead to be giving the crossbow for its shots. But we haven't seen any Ceratosauruses yet, and you're probably just munched away. I'll take that. Oh, it probably won't let me because, uh... It doesn't say anything, though, that, like, it's been eaten and it's not retrievable. So I don't know what's going on there. Is that actually going to take it, or is that trying to take me? No, see, that's trying to take me. That's a bit of a bug. It seems like they haven't given the DLC animals the warnings that, like, they've been eaten, unretrievable, etc. But a uh, bunch of points from that. I'm quite surprised how much. Well, that should hopefully go in just a moment. 
And we'll just keep careful and looking around. <clears throat> there might be more of the DLC dinosaurs we'll find over in this area. It kind of seems like there is patterning to one, like where they spawn certain animals. The Ceratosauruses and the Rex always seem to spawn a little bit more like on the other side of the map from when you first start. I guess it's to try to avoid the uh, old classic carnivores of it drops you right beside something to take you down as soon as you load in. But the DLC animals, they didn't really do that for them. Now, do you want to keep an eye over where the other dinos did go down? Just in case they are... Oh, crap. Jesus. Like, it turns on a dime, almost. Okay, I think that was the mouth shot right there, that last one. Oh, it's just a little stalker. I thought that was a Giga seeing like the uh, bit of green coloration there. Yeah, that's the big thing is I think I've got to try <clears throat> aiming higher when I'm using the revolver than I have been. Because as long as you can get one hit into their open mouth as they're running, I believe it'll take them down. It's, I think the Rex can be like that. The I don't know about the Serato, because I don't know how big they actually open their jaws. But we just saw the Carno, I think that's how that happened. I can't imagine it managed to hit the eye. I mean, I won't rule it out as impossible with how the game can sometimes be. But yeah, there can be some strange things at work sometimes. But we'll try to remember that is... I think it's because, again, I'm kind of dumb with iron sights when it comes to certain games. I gotta remember not... I'm trying to put the dot over what I'm trying to shoot at, so I can't actually see what I'm at. The dot is just the target, not the very top of the sights. But so far, we've gotten a fair few down. Three Carnotauruses. Uh, one Giganotosaurus. And we are still working out towards the true big game of this hunt. I have no idea where we'll find the Rex, but I've got to be careful. Yeah, with how quiet it is, there's no telling where anything is. You don't hear, like, any... Um, actually, if we can get within a certain range, I think we might hear, like, the sniffing of a carnivore, perhaps. It's just that I don't know how close you need to... Ooh. There's a common sight. Now, oh, our first Ceratosaurus of the hunt. I was going to say, there's a certain range you can get into where you'll then start hearing, like, uh, sniffing of the Ceratosaurus, at least. But I can't remember what that distance is. There's our little stalker coming with us again. Now, actually, that might be an interesting use for ambient animals if they do sort out the AI problems with them and increase their frequency on maps. Is if you use a shot and take one of them down, maybe you could even use just that as bait for luring out a carnivore. Or bring it to an area you want it to be at. I don't want to go after that Serato too heavily, just because it did go up on a hill. And so I never know when it's coming back. It might crest before you see it. So I think I'll just keep... Uh, let me keep the revolver out just in case anything does surprise us. I'm just going to follow this little bit of a gulch further along here. Just keep our eyes open as we keep going about, and hopefully we'll be safe and sound. 
At least until I find the next thing, try shooting at and then tick it off at us. Yeah, I think it's just that's yeah, it is just that little stalking ambient behind us. I would think about using a shot, but I think it's better to hold on to every round I can on a hunt like this. I'd like to say if we can get one Ceratosaurus and one Rex, that'd pretty much be this hunt fully completed, because that's at least one of every carnivore. But the Rex is always the big one. I don't know how it'll go. That one can go so pear-shaped so quickly. Because unless you get the eye shot, you are going to have to pray you can get the mouth shot. Oh, I should be careful around here, because I think it was in this area, on one of our hunts with the Carnotaurus active on Bismachi, where it seemed like they were able to pick me up without problem up on these hills. Oh. Okay, so you're 260. You don't look like you're really moving that much from there. That was a hit. We'll have to see if that takes him right down or not. It did. Perfect. So there's another part of the roster taken. Now, we might actually leave it for a moment. Like, I know he's up out there somewhere, but that might be a good lure to just bring out any other carnivores that could be too close to here. Okay, another Giga out there. Yeah, speaking of another one. I can't quite see exactly where the body is to know, like, when it'll stop. There we go. Okay, that should be a hit. Okay, that might have been two hits, actually. Because, I mean, it sounded like the first one did land. But he's not going down, so we're going to have to... Be... I don't know where it is. Like, there's no sting for... It's definitely coming in somewhere. At least I... That's weird. For the first time, I think that's a Ceratosaurus I hit. Oh. Okay, no, they still do have, like, the weird AI bugging on them. Oh, there we go. Oh, jeez, what is that? Didn't realize that was in the area. I think that's a Giga. Yeah, are you going to be pulled this way? You know what? I'm going to just see if I can quickly run down. Snag you. And run over this way. We'll go over the stats and everything. Oh, jeez. Another Giga out that way. But they aren't really getting drawn in. Or at least if they are, they're... No? I heard something there. I'm just going to stay low a moment, because I did hear... It could have just been that Giga making some noise. Okay, I see you didn't really get drawn into that one. I don't know if the other one over there is or not. Oh, hey. Yeah, well, was not expecting another Serato. 
Let me just reload, get us prepped. Because maybe that'll draw something in. I knew I was hearing another carnivore pretty close. Seems like the Gigas... Unless they only get registered to, like, other DLC dinos. Oh, no. Ooh, actually, that's a pretty good opportunity I rarely think I get. That was up. Okay, that's a couple of hits on it. Yeah, he's coming in. Okay. Yeah, see, there's no message to let you know that the uh, dinosaurs can't be retrieved anymore from you, like, being feasted on. So I think that's a little bit of a bug right now. And then the Giga. Okay, there's only one more species we've got to try getting out of this hunt to, like, have the full roster. And it's pr it is definitely the most risky. I just don't know where it is. Because in all my time out here so far, I haven't seen it lumbering around in the distance anywhere. And it's not like you'll hear just a random roar sometimes echo out. So knowing the Rex's AI pattern, it's got to be tied to a specific spot. Oh. Well, I could try getting it for an easy Stratosaurus there. No, unfortunately he just rose up. Sometimes they don't really stay sitting or resting for long, do they? How am I doing for shots in that? Oh, I don't have a lot of ammo left. I only got five rounds in the revolver. That's not really all that good, nor is the direction I've got the wind at either. Oh, do I cut my losses with this? Actually, I might have to. Just because I didn't realize the time got as late as it did. I wanted to get the Rex as well, but, oh yeah, he is, okay, so that's about 180. Oh, I still can try for the Rex, if I knew where it was. That's the only problem I have is I don't want this episode to go too long. Or well, got a lot of other videos that have a good runtime to them for this coming week. Let me just sneak my way. I wonder if this is an area the Rex could even get into. I don't think I've ever actually been like up in this. Oh crap. Oh, ruined at the end there because I didn't even realize the Carnotaurus was nearby. Yeah, he, that animation needs a little bit of work. It just looks so weird to have like the one foot pointing straight down in that. But almost a pretty successful hunt there. Did try my best going after the carnivores with a crossbow. The lead and distancing can definitely feel pretty strange with it. But I think it was mostly successful up until that ending. I had no idea there's the Carnotaurus coming in. They are... Again, the game is almost too silent for its own good, because you don't get any audio for stuff. There's no, like, just little breathing or puffs or that. It's only if you get, like, super close you kind of seem to have that happen. But I do want to thank Dave Remy for the uh, suggestion. I'll just do a quick double check, make sure that is the correct name. Yeah, that's what it is exactly. Okay, just wanted to make sure... Because, again, I want to give everybody proper credit where it was due, so thank you, Dave, so much for the request hunt. Hopefully it was kind of met your expectations of what you wanted to see. I do apologize if you couldn't complete it, 
but it is basically pretty simple if you want to try it for yourselves. It's just all the carnivores. Actually, I probably don't even need the pro license because that doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know what the pro license does. It just means you don't have to select the animals individually. Okay, it doesn't have anything to do with like them spawning on maps. It's just if you have... How much is that actually? Okay, so that's 1,500. But then how much are these? It's actually might not be worth it to get the pro license at all. Because like these two selected are only 800, so there's still 700 that you have like free. Yeah, the pro license half, that needs some rework. I think it should definitely be that allows you to bring any animal to any map, more so than you just get all licenses. It just loses a point, really. But yeah, that was this episode. Uh, next episode, I'm going to switch things up to a full herbivore hunt in the fog. See how we do with just the revolver on that hunt and try it out. But thank you all for joining me on this episode of Carnivore's Dinosaur Hunt. If you did like the video, be sure to give a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to leave comments right down below. This is probably going to be the last week before we go over to Prehistoric Hunt to see what's all new with that game. And I think it was an okay little series just covering Dinosaur Hunt on the Steam PC release. There is still some stuff I want to wait and see how they approach with the game, so... Yeah, we'll have to see how Dinosaur Hunt goes with its release on Steam and further updates or what have you. But we're going to end things here, so thank you very much for watching, and please remember, survivors, as always, to take care and stay alive.